Hi, I'm Virginia Poe. I'm the chairman of the City of Sanford's Public Art Commission. The Public Art Commission puts art in chambers on a regular basis. This exhibition we have here is Stephen Schuster's Bugs. He's going to tell you all about the process and more about bugs than you ever wanted to know. His son is also joining us and will help his dad as he walks through the chambers and tells us about his insects. Stephen, it's all yours. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet everybody. Don't run away because you have to show your scarf. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How so, about this? yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is all uh, fabric art, it's all silk. It's um, 18 millimeter twill silk, which gives it like a, a, a matte finish. And it's all printed on two sides. The show is called Schusty Bugs, and the brand is all under the name Schusty. You can type Schusty into Google and see more things about the art than you'd ever want to imagine. So this is the first piece that shows the kind of character of the work. You can see it's a really tight um, finish. Everything's very pin sharp. And that's what I was looking for. So it's all done with vector art, which is a whole other story for another day. And so if you go on, this is a cardinal with Art Nouveau. All of the bugs, I'm using the body of a bug as an object, but I'm painting the object with art history. So this is Art Nouveau, this is Victorian art, and together it kind of works. So. This one here, this is called Primitive, and the pattern is an African pattern, and there's actually nothing primitive about it. And it's hard for me to show you because of this wooden stick, but when we get to some of them, I can show you the opposite side, and you can see they're painted with different colors. So this is a water bug, and this is part of the way it gets oxygen. Here's a, a pattern. This pattern would be used in clothing, and it actually is in clothing. You can go to shusti.com and see clothing that has this pattern based on it. And this is a lace bug. These things are so miniature, tiny there, you couldn't see them hardly. They're transparent, and so there's a very softness to them. And you can see how they're printed in what's called a duplex printer, which means they're printed on two sides. And this is the cuckoo wasp. And I love this one, especially I love the way the colors came out because of the contrast, the gold versus the platinum. And uh, again, it's got like an Art Nouveau feeling to it. And um, it's just very playful and quite beautiful as cloth. Yeah. So this one up here, can you reach it? Go back. I made this nice poster. And the concept is chromatic fusionism. It's like a new art term that I coined to explain the science of making art with human, humanistic. And so that's the whole concept is chromatic fusionism. And here again, here's, um, this is um, the American hard case. And it's a playful uh, concept of a uh, set of bugs almost looking like uh, drones or planes or outer space creatures painted with the American symbols. And uh, the joke is this is the bug that uh, Betsy Ross noticed when she came up with the American flag. These are French curve beetles, and these are French curves throughout. Everything is drawn by hand. It is a really fun exercise to do when you have the right tools, and uh, all of these pieces become reusable in the rest of my art. So it's, um, it's uh, part design and part refunction. And this is a concept to make jewelry. I spent a whole day making a diamond and then was able to copy and paste it because that's the way this stuff works. 
and this shape would make a perfect piece of uh, brooch or jewelry. And again, it's double-sided printed, so that means you get all the colors. These are Art Deco beetles. And um, what happened here is I created, I have a site on Facebook for Art Deco and Art Nouveau, and somebody posted a coffee can, a coffee can with Art Deco on it. It's an old can. And I, th I thought I saw it. I was like, wow, that's really cool. And so I redid the can, and what it really is is a coffee bush. And so I just repurposed it into the bug, and it becomes um, like a very piece, a nice piece of modern art. Again, multiple colors. This is called stamped bag, and uh, it's a strange piece because of the way it's transparent. But what happened is that um, Asian art and woodblock art, particularly was the inspiration for French Impressionism. And so the concept here is that you have patterns that were used, uh, this one, this is like a Nepal kind of pattern, and then it was added to the bag of uh, some kind of produce, or maybe rice, or whatever it is they were, they were trying to sell to the West. And so the bag comes with the product, and then the bag itself inspires the French Impressionists. This is the, a water bug. And so it's a contemplative piece of like drops of water in a lake. And um, it's just very reflective. And it's sitting here in front of this desk I, I set up with um, my books on who's in American art. I've been in there for, I don't know, 15 years or so. And all the books I've written, I've written right now up to 23 books. And, and you know, my parents, a book on the Holocaust, and especially if you come to the show, I've outlined every one of the bugs, and there's descriptions for each one so you'd understand the entire show. Cards and a place to put a little note. Yeah. So this is a royal goliathus. A goliathus is the largest beetle in the world, and it's also known as a scarab. And so what this one is, is painted with the symbols of royalty. And so the idea was to bring up a high polish fabric that could be repurposed into clothing. And that was the original concept. And I did it in four different colors. There might be a couple more on the show here. This is the steampunk, pump, uh, steampunk bumblebee. And uh, it's kind of glued on. I don't want to mess with it right now. The, um, again, everything's double-sided. You can see this has got a green, and it's got a line here. Uh, I think it's got a blue in the heart. It's hard to see when it's like this, but the, it changes colors slightly. And uh, the concept is the steampunk concept, which is kind of Victorian, kind of mechanical. And again, everything here is drawn by hand. So you can imagine you just zoom in and create these shapes. And these shapes are repeated. So once you drew it once, you can just copy and paste it all the way around. This is um, the um, violin mantis. And there's actually a bug called a violin mantis. And it doesn't exactly look like this, but I did take a little leap of faith and turned it into uh, a musical piece. And then I took the time to write out the story about it. Um, so that kind of like connects to art history to have the handwriting of the artist, you know, and talking about the original piece. And this, I call this the showpiece of the whole show. And the reason why is it has a lot of meaning to me. This is called a megascolia. A megascolia is the largest wasp in Europe. And this megascolia was found in the city of Mariupol, which is Ukraine, which was a city destroyed by the Russians in the Ukrainian war. A Ukrainian soldier sent me a photo of a, of a megascolia. And I was so thrilled to see it and so proud that it was given to me that I painted it with Ukrainian folk patterns and then turned up the saturation to give it a little bit of a, of a charm. 
And so it, would, it looks fantastic as a piece of fabric. And this piece here is another one of the steampunk bumblebees, different colors, more of a honey color. And when I brought the show originally, Virginia asked me to make something a little bit more pastel. Uh, and so this was a tribute to Virginia Poe. And so I went to Winter Park to the Morse Museum and right around the corner, they actually have koi fish in a, in a little alcove. And I found these koi fish and made this kind of pastel feeling. It's very soft and very delicate. And uh, I'm really, really happy. It's very contemplative. Yeah. So I think I need to go behind. Now we're in the actual city chambers. Can you hear me? And this is where uh, politics takes place in the city of Sanford. So this is actually truly art in chambers. And this is one of my favorite. This is the integrated um, uh, Goliathus, meaning again, the largest uh, beetle and also known as a scarab. And it's integrated as if it's an integrated circuit as part of a computer board. And so it's kind of a play on the concept of a bug in the machine. In this case, the bug is actually running the machine. And so when I wrote the story about the bug, I started thinking about bugs and we all think of them as bad, but bugs are the best thing that ever happened to us. Because without bugs, our software would be so buggy you wouldn't want to use it. Right, so the bugs actually strengthen everything we do every day. And it's super important that we keep them strong. You can't miss that. I love that. This is the first one of the series. And it just makes me smile every single time I look at it. Those trippy eyes are hilarious to me. And so this is the uncommon house fly. And so it's a regular house fly with transparent wings, this beautiful coloring, a bit of Art Nouveau in there, and then the trippy eyes. And so it's just a very playful piece that um, just is a lot of fun to share and a lot of fun to show. And this is the Shakespeare bug. And so the Shakespeare bug has pantaloons as if it's from the, the 1500s, from the time of Shakespeare. And um, it's a window. You can see it's a window. And, um, and so the piece is kind of decorating the window. It's kind of like an inside outside kind of uh, experience. And it's, um, again, everything is drawn by hand. So it's got a nice integration with the window. It's different than the others because it's fully integrated. And here's some more fabric. Can't, you can't miss this kind of fabric. And so that's Shifty Bugs. That's our show today. Well, we want to thank you. I want to point out that yes. you're wearing your oh, art. Yes. Can you come yep. close and look at his? And his son is yep. wearing his art. Yep. And here's a really cool here's one. Here's a cool one, yes. Yeah. Two praying mantis. Yep. Dragon mantis. This short. This is, this is my son. Here's a cool presentation. This presentation doesn't begin to cover the beauty of all this work. We hope when you're in the city of Sanford, you'll come and look at it. The hallway leading into the chambers also is filled with these beautiful pieces of insect art. Do you have any closing comment for us? Just thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you for coming, everybody. Appreciate it.